I told them, your outreach messages score an F, fail, zero. Then I said, this is what you need to say instead and why. The psychology underlying it all, not the fantasy that you make up in your head, the behavioral science. Oh no, Jeff, that kind of messaging is rude and offensive. That's what the marketing leader told me. And her managers, they both had her back. No way was their sales team going to send out these types of messages. Question for you. Ever grade your sales outreach scripts and messages? Would you know how to? What would the criteria look like? Most people and businesses would focus on the message's persuasiveness. And that is a problem. You see, marketers tend to influence sales outreach messaging in negative ways. That's the root of the problem. Because marketing is me, me, me. My thing, my solution to your problem. But sales is all about the other person and your ability to provoke them into engaging in a conversation with you. And good luck doing that by talking all about yourself like a marketer. So here's the problem that you're probably not seeing. Let's take email. Before pressing send on an email, you probably ask yourself, is there enough value in this message to earn their response? Is the subject line catchy and is the call to action compelling? After sending the message, you measure its effectiveness by asking yourself questions like, does it earn opens, replies, and meetings? Is what I'm offering clearly explained enough in the message? And are the words that I'm using making me appear credible enough? Is the email persuasive? Full stop. You should not grade your messages on these criteria because persuasion is strangling sales outreach. It is literally pushing prospects away. Don't believe me? Consider your personal experience when someone that you don't know tries to persuade you how open are you to changing your mind? Now compare that to talking yourself into something that you genuinely want. See the difference between being persuaded and persuading yourself. Now, if you don't see the difference, you are part of the 98% club. You are an average seller. And in a crappy economy like this, you're going to starve to death. No. <laughs> yes. It does take guts to say, yeah, customers see all my education and my offering value and help as a ploy to sell. And even if you don't see it this way, rest assured, they do. To them, when you say, hi, I'm here to help you solve a problem, it sounds a lot like I'm here to sell you the solution. However, there is a new way to engage other people. Make the way that you communicate unclear slightly confusing, weird, a little bit odd, provocative. Rude? <laughs> Rude is the number one word that people choose to describe the message that I often suggest that they write. Coming back to my story, after hearing me rip into their persuasive email frameworks, the marketing team at my client told me straight away, it is more important for our company to be liked and seen as polite than it is to earn a short meeting with a customer. <laughs> Are you serious? All right, enough said with that. Today's customers will convince themselves to meet with you, but you've got to create an urge to start that process. That starts with provoking, pulling, creating intrigue, not talking all about yourself, Customers instinctually value more what they ask you for, and they value less what you freely offer to them. So remember, persuasion is a big push. push. Curiosity, Curiosity pulls people. So how do you grade your outreach messaging? Do you? See you down in comments below.